Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Detention, a Taiwanese horror drama film from 2019. It, set in 1962, during Taiwan's white terror period, a student named Fang falls in love with her teacher and counselor. The freedom-loving teacher is the organizer of a study group for banned books, along with fellow teacher Yin and second-year student Wei. The study group provides a place to breathe in this dangerous environment, but its members actually risk death by participating in it. Now, one day, Fang and Wei awaken, to find that the school has become a horrific place with ghosts and demons lurking around and the two students must be forced to confront a terrible truth. Now, per Wikipedia, the term white terror refers to the entire period between 1947 and 1987 and around 140,000 Taiwanese people were either imprisoned during that period or executed for a perceived opposition to the Chinese National Party, uh, the government led by Chiang Kai-shek. So this is the, the cultural and historical context of where and when this film is taking place and the conditions surrounding it. Now the film actually opens with a young man who gets reprimanded for attempting to smuggle something into school. And fortunately for him, the security officer finds uh, something else that's a lesser offense than the uh, banned book that he was trying to smuggle in. So he kind of gets lucky uh, early on in this film. Then we see a small group of students reading and copying banned books in this very small storeroom that's on school grounds, but kind of away from most of the traffic. So the opening scenes in detention are very effective because as a viewer, you can feel the oppression almost immediately. Like this is a, a very oppressive environment. Everyone in the school is walking on pins and needles. You know, the smallest infraction could result in serious consequences for you. And if somebody turns you in for something, you're screwed. Even from an etiquette standpoint, there's an oppressive feel. Like, uh, for example, there are times where all of the students are, like, walking in unison. Like they're in a military boot camp or something. So the theme is com communicated very well, visually as well. So this tyrannical situation is also reflected in the relationships between the characters. You know, again, there's an importance on trust between these students. Because if one of them t were to report this illegal book reading uh, little class that they got going on to an authority, the students and teachers would be in serious trouble. And this situation earns sympathy from the viewer. And although the characters are not necessarily deep or complex, there's an emotional resonance that is eventually earned and results in a very melancholic ending, in my opinion. I think detention works well in developing its thematic depth, which is really the core of the film. I think this film, the entire foundation of it is thematic. And it's also quite relevant, because this is the kind of film that Hong Kong nowadays would not even be allowed to make. They wouldn't even be allowed to make a film like this. We'll just we'll keep it at that. So keep in mind while watching this movie that you know it, it it throws some punches. We'll put it that way. Now the film does jump between the horrific alternate dimension horror stuff and then the normal dimension like dramatic stuff, but it's pretty easy to follow. I think uh, the way these scenes are shot are very distinctive. You kind of know where you're at when the scene starts, and. Uh, you know, most of the normal dimension scenes are flashbacks, so you keep that in mind while you're watching it. But you do have to pay attention, because some scenes are presented out of order, so to speak. So, But most viewers should be fine with it if you're paying attention. What about the scares, though? This is a horror film. Well, the horror scenes in that horrific alternate dimension are effectively shot. It begins with some, like, cloudy weather outside, almost at, like, dusk. And, uh... It transitions eventually to a pitch black night for most of the film when they're in that dimension. There's a lot of darkness that kind of surrounds the characters, but you can still clearly see what's going on because uh, the lighting is good. I like movies where characters kind of walk through creepy environments with like candlesticks, and Detention has quite a lot of that, actually. It's good. In terms of horrific set pieces, 
there are multiple scenes, like suspense scenes involving kind of a Grim Reaper type entity, which is wearing a, a uniform um, uh, symbolic of the oppressive force that's, uh, you know, kind of hurting these characters in real life. There's like this alternate dimension version of it in the horrific nightmare world as well. So that's pretty cool. And it stalks our protagonists and it carries like a, a lamp to see in the, in the dark. It's kind of a tall, lanky monster. It almost looks like it's made from trees and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It is CGI based, but I thought it was good. There's a creepy scene with dolls that are hanging from the ceiling that kind of, it was a little, that was definitely a, a little eerie. There's a scene with a bunch of people who have, like, small sacks over their heads. That, that was a little creepy as well. Although, the scare tactics, you know, they don't rely on jumps. I know some people like jump scares in movies. There's not much in this, which I like. I don't like jump scares, so the less the better. And I would say overall, this isn't exactly like a terrifying film, like one that'll that'll scare the crap out of you or anything. But for what it's going for, you know, a thematic horror film, the 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 horror uh, sequences and stuff works. It, it works. I was rather surprised to find out that this movie is based on a video game. I, I just for some reason at no point did I did I think it would be, <laughs> really. And when I say that, that's a good thing. You know, it's definitely one of the best video game adaptations I've ever seen. <clears throat> it was also adapted into a 2020 Netflix television series that I also watched and is actually quite good. My biggest problem with the TV series was that it was really slow paced, like really slow paced. But uh, it's good. It's good. This movie version moves obviously a lot brisker, a much shorter runtime compared to a TV show. So I would say start with this film. If you like it, you can move on to the TV show or even maybe the video game if you can, uh, you know, grab uh, grab it. <coughs> Although, the TV show seemed to have different plot elements. It's not the same plot, so to speak. So, it, it benefits to watch both. So, when all is said and done, I recommend Detention. It's a good, recent Asian horror film that did get distribution. It's available on Region 3 DVD with English subtitles. I'm not aware of a streaming option for it yet, but uh, this movie made some waves overseas, so I, uh, I gotta assume that it's gonna hit streaming in the U.S. eventually, so look out for it. It's a good one, and as always, I will see you next time.